Hello everyone, I'm Colin Cadet. Today's going to be a quick video and what I'm doing today is I'm introducing a new product that works on the table saw or a router table. I'm not getting paid for this. I have no affiliation with the company. I've had the opportunity to try out their unit here and I've been using it for a few days and I've really fallen in love with it and I want to show you why. So this unit is what's called a power feeder. It feeds wood through the table saw. And I started off with some three quarter inch, then I went to some half inch, and then later on I was cutting some two inch beech. This is dry two inch beech, and all of it fed through without any kind of a hitch. Now I recognize that an accessory like this for the table saw is not for everybody, but it does have some very unique places. First of all, anybody who's afraid of table saws or they don't like pushing wood through table saws or is afraid of getting cut, this is a perfect tool because you're feeding the wood from behind, you're, the, it's taking the wood and pushing it all the way through, all the wood through so you're not anywhere close to the blade. Anybody who has cramping or muscle pain or has difficulty pushing wood through the table saw, this is the ideal too. People that are making cutting boards, for example, where you're putting maybe hundreds of feet all the same size through a table saw, this is what will save all of that hard work of pushing wood through it. It will do all of that. Anybody in the cabinetry, anybody who's doing sort of repetitive work, this is the ideal tool. So let me take a quick moment to show you the machine and how it works and what it does. So it's very simple. I'm going to, at the end of this, I'm going to take, show you how to take it off and put it back on again. And there's a little adapter at the back here, but I like to use a clamp. Now, this unit here in the middle has two components to it. You'll see this little blue knob here, and there's a switch on here. That's the motor. And you can see... That's the motor. You can't see them going, but you can see my finger going around. That's the motor for the drives. On the back, there's a switch right here, and that switch is the electromagnet. And when that is switched, you can't move that. That squeaking is my wheels underneath. That's the whole table saw moving, so it is super firm on there. So the first thing you do is move your fence over and align the wheels so that they're parallel to the fence. And I like to have mine just a little bit askew so that it's, the wheels are driving into the fence. You can see there's a tiny bit of a gap at the back here and it's firm up at the front. That's the next thing to do and now I'm locking that in place with the electromagnet. Now the next thing I want to do is set the height of the blade and there is a little laser on there that you can do that. I prefer to do it manually so I can see that from where I'm at. I want the tooth just about a half tooth above the material and that's where that is. Okay now I've moved around the back the operator side of the feeder the auto cut and there's the switch for the electromagnet and that's on. And there's the switch for the speed of the feeders. There's the switch for the laser and that's turned off now. The next thing I need to do is set the um, pressure that I want to put on the wheels. And normally what we do with auto feeders is you have to push down really hard and then lock them in place and hope that they grip on your wood. Not this one. This has a special way of locking, of getting the pressure on. So there's two things for that. There's this black arm that I'm going to be using and there's this little item here and it has two positions. It's in the open and that's the closed position. So I'm leaving it open right now and you can see this moves freely up and down. So I push down and touch the wood and now I'm going to lock the black lever in place and that's firmly locked. Now I can push this little lever into the unlocked position. Move it down like that. And I want you to watch very carefully. Now I'm taking the wood out and very carefully watch this little gap in here. See that? 
that's the pressure that I'm going to be using now because those wheels drop down and locked in place now and that's the pressure that I'm going to use. Now this little dial on top rotates around to three other positions so depending on the wood that you're using you can get more or less pressure and I found that this one works well for this wood. So that's all set up. I've already got the fence set. I'm going to move the camera around to the front and you're going to be able to see this wood going through. Okay, so everything's set up, ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is turn the power on to the wheels. I'm going to turn my dust collector on. Then I'll turn the saw on and I'll start feeding through. But what I want you to notice, because I'm not touching anything, when the wood gets pushed through, there's not going to be any kickback. Okay, so for me, sometimes I need to take this off because, of course, it doesn't do everything. So to take it off, I'm unlocking the electromagnet. And there's a, a special little adapter at the back here that you can use to clamp it to the um, side of your table saw. I just use a clamp because it's quick and easy. And I take that. There's a handle there for it. Just take it and lift it off, and that's it. Now that's off there just that easy to put it back on I put it on just like that set it up to the back of my saw now I need to make sure that it aligns and I have a mark on my fence so that it lines right up with that there it is there uh, put the clamp on here and I'm that's it I'm I'm ready to go here clamp on now I'll, I'll need to do a tiny bit of setup still because I haven't aligned the, I may need to realign the, uh, the wheels there a little bit and that's almost right there. Lock the electromagnet and that's all ready to go for the next piece of wood. So my whole purpose here is just to be able to introduce this product to get the word out to uh, the woodworking community from advanced people, advanced woodworkers to new woodworkers. There's a whole mix of people that could take advantage of this kind of technology. And if we all help by even just something as simple as writing comments, ideas, suggestions, whether we like it, um, anything like that is a help for this, the inventor and the person who's re responsible for trying to bring this to market. We can help him do that. For those, if, there, if there's enough people interested, we can get a pre-production price on something like this. And who knows, maybe we're, we end up collectively changing the market with some new invention like this. So I encourage you to go there. Uh, the link is in the description box below and in the article on Woodwork Web. And uh, maybe we can change the woodworking world by bringing something like this to market.